Silverdale's newest community, Monarch Ridge, being built by Bainbridge Homes. Absolutely stunning um, exterior. These are modern craftsmen homes. So unusually tall entry doors. We come in on to hardwoods or wood laminate. This plan offers a den directly off of the entryway. It is an oversized den, very uh, unusually tall ceiling heights. Just past the den, we have a formal dining room. It has nice coffered ceilings. And then our stairs going uh, to the upstairs area. Beyond the dining room and the entry hall is the kitchen space. And a huge family room with built-ins. Can you see this wonderful design? And not only does your kitchen offer gas cooking, a wall oven, a built-in microwave, we have room for a giant refrigerator. We also have this wonderful butler's pantry that passes through to the formal dining room and an amazing walk-in pantry. A little bit of uh, exterior noise today because builders are here building, which is great. Um, another wonderful feature is just the yard sizes. And I've uh, traveled the whole neighborhood, walked quite a few of the lots, and I was really impressed that all of uh, the lots are very generous in size. This has a wonderful covered patio, big patio, perfect for entertaining. Again, lots of noise because we have construction going on. Okay, just beyond the uh, large family room, you'll have powder room. Mudroom with built-ins. Door to the garage. Of course, this is full of building stuff, um, but it's an oversized um, height garage, so there's plenty of room for overhead storage. You have the tankless water heater. And then this little closet here off of the mudroom. Functions like a coat closet, probably be a great utility, like dry cleaner, dry cleaner uh, vacuum cleaner and um, brooms. The community is mostly sold out. So those with the blue dots are the available lots. Lot 10 and lot 18 uh, really have a wonderful size backyard. Actually, everything along that back road or the top of the frame they all have wonderful backyards. Lot 10 and lot 18 are the smaller floor plans, not the plan that we are in, but um, still very, very good size uh, plans. Let's go upstairs. Okay, we still have that nice um, flooring here on the stairs going all the way up. Should be great to prevent, you know, major traffic patterns. So the top of the stairs, Master suite, linen closet, bedrooms, laundry room, and loft. Again, very tall ceilings even on the upper floor. Lots of windows. We're going to go all the way to this back corner. First guest bedroom we're looking at. This has a queen size bed with two large side tables. Wardrobe closet with double doors. Fairly long wardrobe closet. Okay, adjacent to the loft on the other side. Another guest bedroom. 
They have a twin bed in here, but uh, easily could fit a large bedroom set. And this bedroom has a walk-in closet. Okay, again, adjacent to the loft is the hallway bath. This has a double vanity, rolled vinyl flooring. The surface here is quartz, pretty backsplash. Separate door for the commode and tub area. This is a tub shower combo, it's fiberglass insert. Pass the um, stairs, another bedroom. This also has a twin bed. Um, again, plenty of room for a larger bedroom set. This will also have the double door wardrobe closet. Linen. Upstairs laundry is really convenient. So we'll hold a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. Being that this is a model home, I am not certain what is uh, standard features and what may be upgrades. That's something we can discuss with the builder. Then we have the master. Double doors into the master. Gas fireplace in the corner not really preventing wall space. There's tons of wall space. This will hold a king size bedroom set and more. Adjoining the master is the ensuite. The flooring in the ensuite is tile. We have a slipper tub. Again, I'm not sure what of the model is an upgrade, something we can discuss with the builder. Double vanity. Privacy door on the commode space. And then an extraordinary, we have an extraordinarily large walk-in closet.